So good morning, everyone. Today, I'll be presenting today's first topic of discussion, uh, cryptocurrencies, means of payment for the future. Now, to not waste any time, let's get right into it. Now, before going into the weed of things, we should establish a clear understanding of the major terms we'll be discussing, such as what is cryptocurrency? So what is cryptocurrency? So in a nutshell, cryptocurrency is defined as a digital or virtual currency similar to traditional currencies, with the added feature of being secured through cryptography by way of blockchain technology. Now, blockchain is essentially a ledger, a set of connected blocks that is online and stores specific information, such as transaction or tracking, which in this case is digital currencies. Now, the main features of this technology is the ability to secure transactions as transactional information is distributed, verified, and recorded by many users of the network, meaning that in theory, forging transactions is practically impossible. Now that we have laid some groundwork about what cryptocurrency is, let's move on the, to the key features of cryptocurrency. Now looking at some of the features of cryptocurrency, the technology of blockchain allows for the decentralization of these digital currencies, meaning that there is no specific central authority that allows or controls and governs the transactions and the value of the currency. This means that theoretically, it is highly immune to foul play or interference from institutional figures that would traditionally have power over a currency. Next is the speed of transactions. Unlike banks, which have to go through multi-step processes to transfer money across countries, which takes time, cryptocurrency is global and is independent of the user's location, making transactions quick and borderless. Additionally, there are also no limits as to the amount of cryptocurrency that can be transferred at once, unlike traditional bank transfers. Now, lastly, trans transactions via uh, cryptocurrency are not required to be tied to specific identities, meaning that users can maintain a heightened level of privacy while using cryptocurrency as a payment method. Now, let's look at some of the potential risks and challenges associated with cryptocurrency. Now, the features of cryptocurrencies can be seen as highly beneficial, uh, there are also the risks that follow. So for example, the lack of centralization, while seemingly good for consumers, also means that when there are issues that occur, such as theft, there are no central figures that can assist in remedying said issues. Another is the immediate nature of transactions. While convenient, it also means that mistakes on the part of consumers, such as keying in the wrong number account, are practically impossible to fix, also feeding back to the issue of no centralization. Lastly, the anonymity provided by cryptocurrency can be abused, capable of facilitating illegal schemes such as illegal transactions or money laundering, for example. In 2021, it has been found that illicit addresses have been quoted to have received over $14 billion. There's also the widely known feature of cryptocurrency, which is its volatility, owing it to uh, its unregulated nature, making it susceptible to significant changes in value. The most recent example, Terra or Luna coin, has been in the news for its huge drop in value. In only a span of half a month, the coin's value dropped from around $80 on May 1st to $0.0002 on May 16th. This worked both ways, however, as many cryptocurrencies have also experienced significant rises in prices, such as Bitcoin, for example, growing over 500% uh, in the span of one year, 2021. Depending on how one look at it, the volatility of cryptocurrency can be both a huge opportunity or a massive risk. Now, one of the biggest challenges that cryptocurrency faces is the negative environmental impacts. So many uh, cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin are generally mined using powerful machines that leave significant carbon footprints, negatively impacting the environment. It has been quoted that Bitcoin mining alone could increase global warming by two degrees Celsius. Another study was conducted to gauge the asymmetric effects of cryptocurrency on the environment, and it was found that there are causal effects between cryptocurrency demand and environmental degradation, showing that digital currencies do pose a substantial potential risk to the environment. Now, moving on, since we are assessing cryptocurrency as a possible means of payment for the future, let's look at the current application and usage of cryptocurrency. So from a survey done by Statista, we can see that many countries have started adopting cryptocurrencies more and more, with the percentages increasing every year. In 2021, 42% uh, of Nigeria has adopted cryptocurrency as their payment method, making it the number one country in cryptocurrency adoption rate, with Thailand as a close second. The reasons for this were attributed to the ease of usage for daily transactions, as transfers can be done easily and quickly through the mobile devices, showcasing the benefits of cryptocurrency that uh, countries were able to extract from this technology. Now, 
Aside from uh, these countries, many major companies and brands have also started to adopt cryptocurrency usage. These companies show, uh, shown in the slides are some that have integrated cryptocurrency into their business, such as Microsoft, who now accepts Bitcoin as payment, while also integrating blockchain technology into their authentication platform, Iron. Another example is Coca-Cola, as they now accept cryptocurrencies as payment via a partnership with Central Pay. If, on, if over 2,000 vending machines in New Zealand and Australia are accepting cryptocurrencies payment. Now, this is all to say that as polarizing as cryptocurrency can be, the pervasiveness of the technology also means that it is not something to be ignored. Now, as for whether it will become the forefront of the future's economy, uh, we will have to see. Thank you very much for the, uh, your attention.